Bridget Pusendart, East River Studio. Well, I've actually uh, seen several blog reports on this show and uh, places like Two Coats of Paint. I wanted to make sure I got in to see this because I think that uh, Pusa Dart is possibly one of the most uh, influential and underrated of the abstract expressionists. And uh, it's always nice to have a show that you get a chance to see some of the uh, seminal works from his early period. This is an interesting piece. Uh, it's like canvas stapled on board. It's called Dragon Head. Oil on linen. Oh boy, it's getting late. I might have to run through here. This is a sculpture called Creature of Clouds, steel wire and metal. called number 19 and uh, I've always been a fan of Richard Pusset's darts but um, it was the abstract expressionism show at the modern I guess it was about a year ago where he was displayed in a room along with Gorky, de Kooning, Pollock, Gottlieb and uh, when you see this work hanging next to a Pollock or a Gorky, you really see that uh, this guy's work stands up against either one of theirs. I also am a big fan of his, uh, his facture, his real uh, thick use of paint. It's called Woman with a Horn. Looks like he's got some found objects in there. Wire and metal, painted black. It's called East River Sun. I think uh, Pusa Dart was maybe one of the youngest of the abstract expressionists, and I think he and uh, Ted Stamos were the two kids that were the youngest guys in the famous irascibles photograph. This is Animal Farm, 1940-1943. And I think if you look at works from this period, you can really see that uh, in a lot of ways he was at least running parallel, if not a little bit ahead of Artists like Jackson Pollock. It's kind of titled Alamande, 1951. There he's got his long trips of paint. Uh, it's called Night World, 1948. And this kind of recalls that whole series of black paintings by de Kooning, except here again, Pusa Dart has always got a chunkier fracture. This is a nice painting. Icarus. It looks like he's squirting a lot of this right out of the tube. Well, Mark Grotian is doing paintings kind of like this today. This is 1951. Yeah, you can not kind of see the wings in there. It was running, so. 
Well, yeah, they're closing the doors here, so we're going to run through the last part of the show. It's cloud sign, 1950. 36 by 74. Oil and graphite on linen. And here again, he's got just this uh, slat frame that he's nailed the canvas onto. I kind of like this uh, rugged handling and a primitive handling. You know, Basquiat was doing a lot of stuff like this eventually. And uh, of course that liquid paint uh, recalls Pollock of the same period. This is titled Angel Forms. That's kind of nice. We've got some thinly kind of soaked in color washes and then the heavy lines are squirted out of the tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shot of... All right, thank you. We are <laughs> Sorry, got that wrong. This is the piece that uh, kind of reminds me of a lot of his contemporary work. It's O.C. 36 by 62. I'm gonna sneak in and just have a peek in the very last room. Oh, that's great. This is 59th Street ramp. Now I know that uh, Pusat Dart also had a father who was uh, an artist and well known and, and lived up around East 59th Street. And well, yes, ma'am. Okay. This is the piece we're going to wrap up on here, and this is titled Ebony 1951. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. So, this has been a rough cut run through of Richard Pusset Dart. What's the title of the show? East River Studios here at Lauren Augustine. As they throw me out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. <laughs>